restaurant giant American Express is being called out for racially divisive policies. And our next guest is says corporate wokeness cost him his job there. Nick Williams is that former American Express employee, and he joins me now. Nick, good morning to you. You know, you have an interesting story uh, because you worked at American Express for eight years, and when you were let go, you turned down a, a six-figure settlement so you can expose what's going inside, uh, going on inside American Express. So tell us, what is going on at the company? Well, good morning, Carly. Thanks for having me here. It's, it's an honor and privilege, especially the day after the flag day, to speak about the Un-American Express company, the corporate giant. You know, really what American Express and other corporations are doing is they are sacrificing their top talent on the altar of trying to uh, be woke try to try to avoid systemic racism try to try to make themselves look like they're doing what they should be doing when they're doing it at the expense of good wholesome people that have families that they care about and as a father of four multiracial children you're the last person american express you should tell me how to behave and how to see people of color what are some of the things that happened uh, during your time there that made you uncomfortable you know, American Express was putting folks through a series of CRT trainings, including myself, where they were talking about microaggressions, telling us that, uh, that we couldn't say we don't see color when why can't you say that? That's a microaggression, according to American Express. American Express was telling white males that in these trainings that if we have African American colleagues in these training, in, in a team meeting, in a national call, a regional call, that we need to sit back and allow them to speak first and hear what they have to say, and then we can speak afterwards because we are privileged. Mm -hmm. We are white privileged. Well, you say that you were the top uh, sales performer at American Express for three out of the eight years. You won three. You were the three times winner of the chairman's award so why were you fired yeah I brought those awards with me here today Carly it's, it's hard to imagine that a chairman award representing the top 1% of 1% of performers at American Express somebody who gets an award from Ken Chenault and Steve Squeery himself who carries a black card that says American Express company Nicholas Williams how can that employee be terminated after a perfect perfect eight-year run, leading the country, leading national calls, training his peers, actually mentoring an African-American colleague at the time I was dismissed because I told an African-American small-owned business, woman-owned business, who I did not know at the time was African-American, that she could not get set up with American Express unless she followed our, our protocols for risk and credit. And, at, and after she was speaking to myself and my colleague in a horrible way, in a horrible manner, I said, this is violating the blue box values, and I'm gonna take myself and my team and set aside, wow. and we're no longer able to service your account. You can continue the setup, but we'll still and need say, those articles of incorporation. Yeah, and you say that's what um, led to your firing. Well, everybody at American Express now knows who you are because uh, they released a statement to Fox News about you speaking out um, against the company, and they say Mr. Williams is spinning a false narrative of possible reasons other than his own misconduct for his involuntary termination from American Express. We are committed to complying with all laws and regulations and do not tolerate misconduct. If we identify potential misconduct, we thoroughly investigate and will take appropriate actions, including and up to termination. What is your response to that statement? Yeah, well, I'm sure American Express knows about spinning a false narrative because it retained 11 legal counsel, seven internal and four external to fabricate the story to get rid of myself and my three superiors, one who is a 25-year highly decorated veteran vice president at the company. They used KGB tactics to interview us for 73 days to fabricate our false narrative, to scapegoat us to regulators and others inside and outside the company, and ultimately terminate us, which led to a giant tsunami inside American Express where they just terminated, well, they're still employees through June 30th, but they just terminated over 200 employees who should be out servicing small businesses, who should be an extension of, of these companies, 1 million to 500 million in revenues, helping their finance team close the funding gap, get discounts, use a corporate card. Yeah. These employees are now gone. 
You know, Nick, where is all this coming from? You know, this is woke ideology infiltrating corporate America. Is it, you know, a reactive measure at the executive level out of fear that they won't appear inclusive enough and could face lawsuits? Is it something else? What do you think? You know, this is my personal thought. It, it's it's hard to know what the true answer is, Carly. But what I would tell you is this: Ken Chenault was an extraordinary leader for American Express. Ken Chenault was African American. How could his company be so horrible that when Steve Squeery comes in, it is so woke and needs to be everything needs to be changed? Mm. We need to get rid of white employees. We need to give hiring managers raises in order to terminate white employees and, and hire or promote African Americans. How was the company so horrible? It was Black Lives Matter. It was the George Floyd movement. It was it was American Express's chance to be a leader. A leader is what it thought. It's what Steve Squeery must have thought in order to make these changes in the company. At the at at like families like myself, at our expense, who have bled blue for this company. Yeah. We have given up so much so that American Express can be at the top. And we were just wiped into the curb, thrown down the gutter, and treated like dirt. Well, Chris Rufo has done a series of investigative reporting on CRT in corporate America, uh, and he says that American Express is one of the worst offenders. Nick Williams, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, Carly, I can just ask folks to go to the unamericanexpress.com. Tell your story if you are an American Express employee. I will be here to support you. Color Us United will be here to support you. And if you're so willing to put a donation in there to help me fight American Express, I will bear this cross. All right. Thank there you. you have it. Nick, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.